It's not the things inside my head that keep me going Don't need someone to throw me money, they should show it Keep chasing shadows, they're always haunting me But I believe in something bigger What's up, Active Fam? Okay, so it's Tuesday morning. I got up nice and early. I was supposed to be training with my homeboy, Nath, but because he's like coming close to his prep, he messaged me literally just before I was about to leave the house. He's like, bro, I'm fucking wrecked. Can we just push it back till next week? And I'm like, yeah, bro, don't even stress. Like, don't worry, man, I've been there, I've done that. The last thing that you want to be doing is rushing your training session while you're in a comp prep because you know you've got clients coming in. And like, obviously, I'm not too phased. I can just go to my gym and train today. It's not a big deal. I was like, bro, do what you need to do. I got your back, homie. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to turn around right now, and I'm going to pick a pair of shoes, and then we're going to go to the gym, and then we're going to train some delts. Now, maybe you guys can help me out. I'm wearing the black on black on black on black with the camo hat, and I got the AB dubs black and gold singlet on underneath. Oof, like Superman. I'm feeling, oh, oh. Either the tan and black Jordans, or I believe they call those chutney. That's what's called the chutney edition. That could go pretty good. Oh, but I've got the tan hat. Mm. Okay. Yeah, I was feeling these or either those. But I wore those like last week, so. Oh, comfy. Oh. Hells yeah. You can only wear these shoes if you're wearing all black, so. I guess today's that day. All right, Claire's already taken Millie to walk to the gym, so she's doing this thing where she's gonna start walking to work every morning, so I'm like, well, might as well take Millie with you, and I'm gonna fly the drone to the gym, so let's go. Ooh, I fall apart, down to my car. Ooh, I fall apart, down to my car. Ooh, didn't know it before. Surprise when you caught me off guard All this damn jewelry I bought You was my shorty I thought ooh. I've been with these hoes popping pillies Man I feel just like a rock star All my brothers got that gas And they always be smoking like a rock star Oh we got a delivery Millie Let's go pop it open I love getting deliveries first thing in the morning. A few training t-shirts. Redcon 1, size large, yes, yes, yes. Redcon 1, Ooh. leg day t-shirt, done, done. And then another one, R1, L, yep, beautiful. All right, guys, so basically, the company that made Total War, Redcon 1, they hit me up and they were like, we've seen that you've been trying our pre-workout, how did you like it? And I was like, yeah, I actually really liked it, you know? Between this and, um, Pathogen, they're my two favorite pre-workouts at the moment. And like, I'll tell you guys exactly what I think of my, my supplements, but sometimes I go through phases where I start taking a lot of things, and then I just pull back, and I just try and keep it to a minimal. But Red kind of there said, you know what, if you like the Total War, we'll send you our other products, and you can try them out, and then see how you like them. If you do, then you can even think about stocking them in your gym, and um, representing them as a brand as well. So I'm gonna give their products a shot, I'll give you guys an honest review, and uh, we'll take it from there. But I can tell you what, the Total War, this is probably one of the strongest pre-workouts on the market along with Pathogen at the moment, but this is their brand new formula, which I haven't tried yet. So I'm keen to get on that. They got a car powder called Cluster Bomb. I've been taking a Glycoject. Take like two scoops of that before every session, so that's good to have. And they've got a pump formula called Big Noise. And then obviously they've got their whey isolate protein, so close workout. All right guys, so we're starting our shoulder workout with a little bit of a warm up technique. So normally when we do our crucifix rows, we do them two handed, but today we're gonna mix it up a little bit and we're gonna do it one handed. Now when I'm doing it one handed, I still wanna make sure that my hand is coming into the middle of my body and I'm not just standing right next to the machine and then reaching across my body and then pulling across like that because that's gonna work a totally different muscle group. So we're still positioning ourselves in the middle of the machine and we're starting with our hand directly in front of our stomach and then just pulling out in the exact same plane of motion. Now the reason that you can do it one-handed versus two-handed if you want to mix it up is just so that you can really emphasize pulling from the top of the joint and really putting your mind in that one area rather than having to think about pulling two arms at a time. 
So sometimes I'll do it one hand, sometimes do it two hand. You just gotta mix it up depending on what you feel like doing on the day. All right, let's get it. So one thing that I, even I just noticed is that at the start of the movement, I forgot to actually tilt forward. So I've always said that when you're doing this with two hands, you've got to lean forward at the hips by bending your knees and then just slightly leaning into it. So just then I was standing up, right? And I was feeling a lot in my rear delt. As soon as I tilted forward, then I started to feel it more in the back half of my medial delt. So I'm gonna do that. Chips here with the no weight laterals now. So I'm gonna line up nice and slowly, tilting forward, lift up to the top of the joint. Drop it down a couple inches, and then bang, 30 reps. Alright, that's it. Super set done. triple combo now in the front of the delt. We're starting with the standing front raise, leaning forward by keeping my grip neutral so I'm not twisting. Then I'm doing a seated front raise where I actually am twisting. And then after that, I'm doing a 45 degree V raise where I'm just keeping my hands neutral again. So as I do each exercise, I'll run you through it and I'll give you the points. So first one, bending at the elbows, I'm leaning forward and I'm just going straight up and down. Neutral grip. Now I'm going to drop it down to five kilos, so nothing too heavy. And I'm going to sit down and then I'm going to twist it at the top. Twist that shit! But I'm staying upright on this one, I'm not leaning forward.
Okay, last exercise, doing the V raise. So I'm staying completely upright, I'm not leaning forward, and I'm just lifting my arms up in a V shape. Only to about shoulder height though, I'm not looking to go too high, because I want to grab that tension on the front of my delt from the moment I start moving that weight. I don't want to start swinging it and then grab the tension. I want to basically pull from here, slowly up to there, and controlling it, so that there's constant tension, tension, tension! Woo! Alright guys, give you a quick physique update. So we're about two weeks back into training now. I showed you what I was like after the first week, landing back from Dubai. Actually no, this is week three, so I've done two solid weeks of training. Legs are fucking cooked from yesterday. That really hurts, tented up. Okay, pull the basketball shorts back down. Alright guys, I'm going to try out this new protein powder that they sent me today. We actually got no food at the gym, so I would have had to wait at least an hour before I got anything into me, so I guess that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Oh shit. Let's go looking. Vanilla flavor. I'm more of a banana man to be honest, but Let's see how we go. It's actually quite sweet. I like I like it. I like it a lot. Hey, yeah. I could get used to that. Alright, what's up, my active famous? So, just got my mum to run down to Coles to buy some chicken breast because I can't leave the gym. And she's a lifesaver and she was like, bro, have you got any food to eat here today? And I was like, nah, man, I was just going to Uber Eats it. And she was like, don't worry, I'll go get you some chicken. But, there's a dilemma. They only had the chicken breast that's marinated in honey. And I'm intolerant to honey, like, hard. So, what I did was I just took it out of the packet ran it under the sink and just washed all that shit off, problem solved. Now I'm going to throw it in the air fryer for about, well these are actual breasts so they're a bit thicker, usually 13 minute, I reckon I'm going to put it in there for like 14 minute. Bang. Alright guys, same meal as last night, good old chicken breast and rice, no greens. What about the greens bro? What about the absorption rates? How am I going to absorb those proteins without the greens? So we're going with the Nando sauce and uh, that's about it. That moment when your airdrop stops working, so you decide to reset both the computer and the phone. You realise if this doesn't work and resolve my problem, Apple's going to be in trouble. I'm going to write a strongly worded email because I need this airdrop to work. The path something 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 appears to be missing or damaged. Quit the installer to restart your computer and try again. Mac OS could not be installed on your computer. Okay. Well, maybe if my mouse was working, I could try and quit the installer. But I think Apple's just trying to have a bit of a joke today. It's working. Wait. The, oh, receiving from Edward's iPhone. Winning. All right, guys. So it's like 12:23 a.m. and I'm just leaving the office now because I was editing up yesterday's vlog, which is the drone footage of the beach day. So I was very, very particular with how I wanted it to look, and I had so much good footage that I just had to like grab all the little bits and pieces and throw them in, in according to the music and the beat. And I've been sitting here just fucking perfecting it, but I'm so happy because I nailed it. If you haven't watched it, make sure you go and watch it right now. But now i got to go to sleep because i got to get up early and come back to work in about five, six hours. So 
Anyway, better duck off home, grab my chutney Jordans, chuck them in the bag, and let's go. So I just got home, so I'm about to sign out. That's going to be the end of today's vlog. Didn't really get to film too much, but that's just another busy day at work, so I'll see you in tomorrow's one. We're going to be doing a big back session early in the morning, so make sure you subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and then click the bell so that you can get notified every time I upload a new video. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. I've been with these hoes, popping pillies, man, I feel just like a rock star. All my brothers got that gas and they always be smoking like a rock star.